I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Ultra ADHD, aka Amazing Death and Huge Destruction. It's a really weird game, and apparently it has three endings. Uh, let's play it from that beginning. Uh, we are green, and we have a nice little cigar, I guess. We've got some nice blood trees. This game is a content warning for uncensored explicit language, cartoon violence and blood, cartoon depictions of suicide. Bright flashing lights during one of the endings, so be aware of all of those. What's this? Oh, it's an invisible wall. Okay. Alright. Hello, Mr. Phone. They answered the phone. Oh, good. Give me the phone. Wait, what? Oh, I just made those have the same voice. Wait, what? Let me talk to them first. I... <laughs> Hello there, mate. How are you doing this fine morning? God damn it, Motherland, you bruised my arms. Run some water on it, you big baby. Look who's talking, you started it. You do you, Fatherland. Sorry. Sorry about that, mate. Just some sibling rivalry. Sibling rivalry, my ass. You jumped on me and grabbed the phone, you c- Wow, wow, what's your language? Ah, oh, crap, I couldn't read that. Anyways, let's start from the top. How about you give me your name, lucky person? My name. My name is Lucky Person. So, uh, your name's Lucky Person, huh? Frankly, I'm not particularly fond of it, but who am I to judge? <coughs> oh, look who's back. See, I told you to just put some water on it. I'm bleeding, and it didn't help. Even better. As you can hear, Lucky Person, Motherland is a wonderful human being. Eh, nobody's perfect, trademark. So you've been even more confused. I'm sure you're even more confused than you were before. Yeah, I'm pretty confused. Good question, if you will, lucky person. Hopefully you won't find it rude. Why the fuck aren't you responding? Yes, I'm interested to know why, too. We've been talking for about 20 text boxes, and lucky person has never said a word. Ah, we're dealing with a silent protagonist. What? A protagonist who is also silent. Oh, yes, I see. Very interesting, yes. You don't know what that means, right? Nope. It means a lucky person can't speak, and we basically make them do whatever we want. Oh? Because they're the protagonists, they're the only ones who can use weapons and save the world and the like. Oh? Oh, you're making that face again. The face you always make when you get ideas. You're not wrong. Right, this isn't a damn visual novel. You want to get to the action. I want to stop bleeding, so let's keep it short. We required your shooty shooty bang bang services. Meet us at the forest. Oh, everybody's always after my shooty shooty bang bang services. Those services aren't cheap, my friends. You'll be teleported to a location in a few seconds. If you see Fatherland, tell him he's a dick. Have a safe trip. Real mature. Okay, so we've got some eye trees. Can I interact with the eye trees? No. We got some sheeps! Hi, sheep. Bah. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not a sheep. What? Who the fuck are you? Get the fuck away from me with your brains which got splattered all over the field. You fu- Oh, you're not police. Sorry. We, uh, we cool now. All of that's part of the past now. No hard feelings, I hope. Look at them. All sheep to the slaughter. Literally. Kinda heart-wrenching when you think about it. But nah, man. I ain't one of them. Forced to jump over fences and dreams and shit. I used to do that every single day. Three years. Slave labor for minimum wage. Horrible job, I tell you. One day it was my turn to jump over the fence in that one kid's dream. I was a 16th sheep. I just thought, nah man, I'm not gonna do it. They started to beg, saying something like, please, I've yet them count them all. Let me count every single sheep. I didn't move and he just fell asleep. Now that I think about it, sounds like a kid's story, doesn't it? Even if it rhymes. Oh. I guess you pick up on that when you work with kids your whole life. All right, story time's over, my friend. I need some time to myself here. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a smoke and a gold chain. Leave me alone, asshole. I need some time to unwind. Rude. Bwah. Bleh. That was more of a goat noise. This is the end. What a lovely place. Oh, you got Mr. Mr. Very, very loud ukulele man. Oh, I got some blood pals. Oh, I got guns that are head. Wonderful. We got some booze. I can't pick up the booze. I also can't look very far down. This is as far down and up as I can look. By the way, this is very aesthetic, and if we get the eyeball out of frame, this could pass for vaporwave. 
hell is that? Is that is that's a gun? Shoot dog! Woof woof. Get the fuck away from me if you want to keep breathing. Woof woof, motherfucker. I like shoot dog. Can I have your gun? Get the fuck away. Oh, same dialogue. Sorry, we're closed. <laughs> well, you're dead. Hold aim. Like what? No refunds, credit life. <laughs> Mildly injured shopkeeper. Apologies, but the store is closed due to the end times. We regret to inform you that all of our assets and items were liquidated, such as my head. The item shop will reopen once the earth and or universe has been cleansed and or destroyed. Conditions may apply. Oh, you're a lucky person. Yeah, I received an order to give you something. It said something about defeating evil, something like that. Well, I do have this pipe. You can try it on the training dummy I just brought up behind you. Also, I'm legally obligated to tell you the weapon's hotkey is one. You can holster weapons using the H key. Don't know what any of that means, but law is law. We have a pipe that makes gun sounds from Goldeneye. Take this shoot dog! Ah. I don't think you can kill shoot dog. I kind of assumed this was one of those games where you could just kill any civilian, but I guess not. Attention! Due to the end times, the entry of the force is strictly forbidden. Alright, these are some... These light effects... Very... They stand out very strongly. The end times are upon us! The prophecy tells of a silent hero who would defeat evil and save the world. Let us all pray to our god and savior for salvation. Should have prayed harder, motherfucker. I can't kill him, can I? He's really short. Maybe I'm just horribly tall. Or maybe I'm one of those protagonists that, like, sees out of the top of my head. Hi, buddy. Maybe I can't kill you. Halt! Entrance to the forest is... <laughs> the stop sign says GTFO. Entrance to the forest is strictly forbidden due to high numbers of zombies in the area. But wait, you look familiar. Let me check here. Silent, blue-skinned, smoker. Yes, seems like I've hit the jackpot. Lucky person, right? How do they know I have blue skin and smoke? Take that as a yes. Anyway, I've been ordered to grant you access to the forest. We need some means of self-defense. Ah, good. It seems you have something. Not much, but it'll do. One more thing before you go through, though. Do you have any guts in your inventory? Hit Q to eat some and heal up. You can pick up guts using E. Do you believe I've said quite enough? Have fun, you lucky bastard. So we've used guts as the healing item. What? B Oma? Seven revolver ammo. That did not say revolver ammo. It said B Oma. Ooh, what's this? We got guts! Woohoo! I love guts, my favorite variety of meal. I gotta have a good meal. Shift to run. Ah, Fatherland! We got some nice eye trees in this forest. Latest proper product from Apple. We got some nice spooky whispers going on. Just nice spooky ground claws. Oh, hey friend. How you doing? You seem to have a positive outlook on life. Barikas are pastries made from phyllo dough and usually stuffed with cheese, mashed potatoes, mushrooms, olives, chickpeas, etc. The dish originated in Turkey and was popularized in Israel by Turkish and Balkan immigrants. It is a notable common dish in Israeli cuisine. Thank you for the information. Ah, zombies. Oh, we got a revolver. They're not very fast. Oh, hey friend. How are you doing? Barika's films were popular as really I'm I think I'm sliding down the hill. Film genre during the 60s and 70s. These films are usually comedies and or melodramas which revolved around the conflicts between Mizrachi and Ashkenzi Jews. Okay. Oh dang, he is following me. Very ineffectively, but still. <laughs> Barikas usually contain high levels of fat, trans fat, due to the fact barikas are made from margarine based doughs. Oh my god! Fuck! Okay. I guess you do have to kill them. Alright. Alright. I did not expect to be attacked during a text box. I'm bruised! My ego. My poor ego. These wonderful graphics. 
You gotta have good graphics. All right. Due to the fact Boreicas are made from margarine-based dough. Indeed, high levels of trans fat put you at risk of heart disease and stroke. It's oh, very interesting. Thank you. What's this? Just a box candle? I'm not. Uh oh. Oh god, I'm stuck in the box candle. Son of a bitch. My mother always said it would happen. I didn't believe her, but I got stuck in the box candle. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry I doubted your wisdom. Oh, okay. That was... I was so scared I would have to restart the whole game. You can quick skip the dialogue, I think. Oh. I got some revolver ammo. What's this? Oh, some guts. Delicious. I'm not sure if guts are like a full heal or just a partial. I'm just gonna... I actually had to re-record a little bit of this game. Uh-oh! Um, I accidentally... I'm not totally used to using OBS to record these things any yet, but uh, what I did was... Oh, dang it. Uh, I want to talk to that guy. Oh, hey! Is that those peoples? Um, yeah, the window wasn't sized right, so it wasn't recording all the game. Hey, lucky person! We're over here in the corner! Make sure you kill the zombies, because unfortunately we can't. It's fan. Barika's films were successful in the 70s and 80s. Well, there you go. I'm sliding again. Who would have thought a game that looks like this would not have perfect programming? Heavily criticized for low production values and style of themes. Soon as I called gefilte fish films. Is this is this real? Like, this seems like something somebody would make up. Also started during that time. We just started an Eskenazi protagonist instead of a Mr. Azzy one. Though the popularity of this film was probably in the mid-80s, some of them retained cult status. Excuse you. I'll make you retain cult status, asshole. Whatever that means. Oh, hey, are you Fatherland? You're a dick. Oh, look at his fedora. He is a dick. Wonderful. You've arrived. If you're wondering why we couldn't help, it's because of NPCs and NPCs in these sort of games. Just kind of stand around, do jack shit, waiting for protagonists to waken us up. It's a very blunt description. I found using lots of descriptions hammer my point more, more, more than polite descriptions. Look at this chromatic aberration in the, in the corners here. This is a true AAA game, my friends. I don't agree with that statement, but whatever floats your boat. In any case, lucky person. We've called you here for a very special reason. That reason is not, to quote the great poet Motherland here, shitty shitty bang bang services. Rude. I, I came all the way here to provide my shitty shitty bang bang services. You require your combat expertise, lucky person. There, yeah, that's better. It's less unprofessional. Basically, we want you to bring down the developer of this game. <laughs> yes, lucky person. You're being toyed with for the sake of some bullshit grand adventure. You already experienced some of it now. Survival horror zombie first person shooter. Yeah, whatever you said. We've managed to hack into the system and break dancing NG's control of us. While we can't fight, we can teleport you and ourselves. Basically, say whatever we want. But I digress. We want to give you the power of free will to everyone. So you're just gonna play along. But instead of fighting the final boss, you're gonna get killed dancing NG. We're basically going full JRPG here, using the power of friendship to kill God. <coughs> God ahem. Are you a lucky person? That's correct. What do you want with a lucky person? We're a lucky person's personal assistants. They're in a meeting right now. Do you wanna leave a message? Tell me lies. Tell me sweet lies. Motherland, fatherland, lucky person, you're under arrest. Oh shit. For what? Conspiracy against the developer and massacre of zombie species. Anything you can say will be used against you. You'll be representing yourself in the trial, lucky person. A trial? Is it a legal trial? Yes, a legal trial. In fact, it will commence right after this loading screen. Aw, dang. I wasn't prepped for trial today. October 2, Supreme Court, court house number one. I, I don't think the Supreme Court tries criminal cases. Whatever, it's fine. This court is now in session for the trial of lucky person. The prosecution is ready, your honor. Wait, the developer is the prosecutor? Representing himself? Yes. How is that fair? Dancing NG is, is unable to override the court decisions. How? He's the creator of this game. Is the defense ready? The defense is ready, your honor. Sorry, but Lucky Burst will representing himself this trial. Aw, oh, fuck. I'm doomed. Alright, I forgot that Lucky Burst is the silent protagonist. Well, I guess we're there as representing Lucky Burst and I. Like hell you are! There, I give you basic speech hunches to this level. Have fun. Hmm. <laughs> My way of the highway type, eh? 
Um, fuck you and fuck your game, you terrible excuse for a human being. Yeah, and if I may just say something before NG before we begin. You're the best developer ever. I love this game. I love this level and I love you. Are you alright, lucky person? <laughs> what the fuck did you do to lucky person? Oh my god, NG, you're so handsome. Marry me, NG Senpai. This <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I planned his dialogue option to see if <laughs> lucky person would choose it. That shit you made lucky person say tells us more about you, NG, than anything. Hey, if it makes you any happier, all the other dialogue options are genuine. Order, order. Created a whole courtroom level. One might assume you wanted to have a trial. Correct. I think it's best we proceed. Fuck you, though. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. I hereby conclude the dancing eagle deserved that fuck you. <laughs> Sweat. Fair enough, I guess. Let us proceed. Let's proceed then. Lucky person is charged with conspiracy against a developer and possible murder of zombies. The prosecutor will call the first witness to the stand. Please state your name and occupation. Commander Zed of the Zombie Armed Forces. Armed? You don't have firearms. Common misconception. We're kind of the armed forces because you use our arms to attack. It's a pretty literal interpretation of the term. But you do you. Mr. Fallen Land, please refrain from dis digressing us from the trial. I agree. Moving right along here. Wait. You look not identical to the other zombies we encountered. Mr. Motherland, our people find these kinds of comments offensive. It's akin to saying you humans all look the same. Well, considering the art style, everyone does look kind of the same. Racist. Crickets chirp. Mr. Zed, did you claim that Lucky Burst was unlawfully slaughtered your forces, am I right? Yes, slaughtered in the full sense of the word. Our peaceful homeland became a bloodbath. Peaceful, my ass. I heard that. You can read my thoughts? Yeah, they're displayed in the task box right there. We can all see it. I can even think properly? Privately? Is this another one of your jokes, like that trap answer from before? Sweat drop. Mr. Zed, please provide your testimony before the Lucky Burst. It'll be my pleasure. Testimony! Station my troops to the forest, as always. I'm particularly excited to have it for the first three hours. I heard the gate open, but didn't think much of it. Suddenly, I hear my fellow zombies screaming and moaning for help. Luckily, Mr. Lucky Bird right near killed them all for no reason. I only killed two. Maybe three. But I avoided most of them. They deserve a death sentence immediately. Mr. Zed, please refrain from these kind of statements. This is just my opinion. That's my start the bullshit examination. Lucky person, you're going to have to deal with this yourself. But I can at least tell you how to perform a good bullshit examination. Do you want to hear it? Tell me how to examine bullshit. Sure, but your explanation must be a haiku. Don't worry, I know how to do this already. Sure, but your explanation must be a haiku. Sigh, seriously? I see Motherland proved to be a negative influence on you. In return, I'll fulfill your request. You'll know how to call bullshit, too. Listen to statements, and if you see the lies, call them out. I do not lose court trust. Oh yeah, so it's every court game ever, basically. You have to decide whether you should be embarrassed by that. Already, I'm ready. BS examination. Station my troops in the forest as always. Bullshit. STFU. This is that you said troops did nothing after noticing my survival. Exactly, you just killed them. Zombies won't hurt everyone just to fly. I stand by that. How do you explain the fact that when approached, zombies pursued me and tried to kill me? Impossible! But I would never. Are you really trying to take Lucky Tursen's Terrence's money here? We waited out in the forest. We saw firsthand zombies attacked first. Fatherland's correct. Every zombie attacked a lucky person was killed in self defense. What? So the lucky person is particularly the first charge in kind of self defense. What? I do believe we have suggestion to about zombies. No, I refuse to believe the zombies under my command would do such a thing. You can deny that all you want. The court unanimously testified that your zombies were aggro. Pfft. Shut the fuck up. I suspect the sort of language towards a judge will get you out of kicked out of the court. I will not rest until I get definitive proof that my zombies were hostile towards human. I said. Proof this isn't you people. Well, I got hurt. Does, does... Tell them, lucky person. Need objective proof that the zombies are hostile towards human. Shooting mechanics of starting town. Sarcastic! <laughs> um. Guts pickups. At the start of the game, the game pair explained that I can use guts to remain health, so. So if there were health items, there's a possibility I'd be damaged, meaning there are enemies. Well, yes. There were some environmental hazards. No, there weren't. You and your friends here so to derail the whole game so you wouldn't see them. Yeah, that doesn't mean zombies were aggro. Also eating guts? Seriously? I tried adding some shock value. 
Yeah, well, it didn't work. Two out of ten for effort. Lucky person. That doesn't prove that zombies are harmful. Shooting spirits. Anything that can prove that zombies are hostile. What? Objective proof. Shooting mechanics. Well, there are shooting mechanics after all, and zombies are a great cheap way to use them. One, that's kind of offensive. I thought we talked about these generalizations before, too. Yes, shooting mechanics doesn't mean necessarily yes, proven weapons in an action game. Oh, come on! The starting town. We've got the starting town is protected by walls. Yeah, all well, human systems are protected by walls. Have you consider why? People are very protective. You lose your shit every time something's out of place near the La La Land. Maybe it's because of zombies. Come again. The zombie priest said about the end times. Tell me, Zed. How did zombies come about? I reckon there aren't any zombies before these times. Who rose from our graves one day? Loud noises, crazy sky, thunder fire. Sounds like an apocalypse to me. Yes, I remember that happening a week ago. Unfortunate. Yes, these are limited to the signs of the end times. <coughs> a week ago, that's when the walls were built to keep the zombies away. And to top it all off, the gatekeeper advised me to have a weapon at hand because the zombies are outside to haunt humans. Just because someone says something, it doesn't mean it's true. Guy wouldn't let me out until I got an old pipe from the shopkeeper. Considering blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Yes, it seems like a bunch of evidence. Okay, why didn't you accept any of the other things, jerks? Thank you, Mr. Zed. I think we cleared the mass realization. Bye bye. Well, I can't tell you people aren't efficient. Where does Zed go anyway? We'll be right along here. Second allegations conspiracy. Well, you ah! My ears. Well, you've managed to be vindictive. Vindicate yourself of murder. Ever gonna be hard to vindicate yourself of conspiracy, lucky person? We move by conspiracy. Playing dumb now. Blah blah blah. Professional killers. Next to the table. Big epic boss fight. But no, these people had to fuck it up, didn't you? You just weren't happy with your role. Your 15 minutes of glory. How'd you feel? How'd you feel if you knew how and when you'd die? We broke the system to free everyone for your quest. Abolish evil and just live in peace. A cute ideology. But you love clinging to it just because you want to see. Save yourselves. Order, order! This is the person who started an apocalypse for some bullshit grand adventure. This is a video game! You people are not real! I demand this be stricken from the court record. The only one who is is a lucky person. God damn it, my fourth wall is gonna be so sore after this. Order, order, order! Get him get him out of here. Shoot him. This trial isn't about you, it's about lucky person. Let's see what lucky person has to say about all of this. Um this game is getting really pretentious and you're taking it too seriously. God damn it, this game is getting really pretentious. What? What's that? Some kind of bullshit moral message saying the only way to win the game is not play at all? It, no, I'm just... It's a very stupid game and you're all taking it way too seriously. How the fuck did this go from a comedy game to a... Philosophical discussions about fictional characters again? Well, I guess Lucky Person is right. Hell yeah. Yeah, a little self-awareness is always good. I'm sorry, people. I just wanted to make something exciting and interesting. It seems I got cheesy fourth wall breaks to pretentious ones. I guess it's the sort of thing that happens when you're right by the seat of your pants. Heartwarming. So, uh, can we leave this drab courthouse and go back to that shooting game thing? Yeah, at least that was fun. Yeah, sure. Let's kill some zombies. Right, this game's still kind of, eh. Yeah, I feel like this Matrix idea bit is a bit overused these days. If you want to shoot zombies or not, come on, lucky person, let's go. You got the pretentious ending! Woo! Pretentious ending. A game by Elon. Dancing NG Carmi. Oh, good. It's an Uzi. Music by Free Harmonic. Thank you for playing. I'm so glad I got the pretentious ending. Aw. There's nothing left to shoot. Zero out of ten. Oh, I could move. I tried moving and it didn't work before. We got the pretentious ending. Um, let's see if we can get a different ending. I think there's a thing to skip. Yeah. Um, the fence is ready. Let's be, let's be very professional and do everything right. Testimony. Don't worry, not this already. Psst. 
Um, starting town. Goodbye. All right. All right. So the pretentious stuff happens. Motherland and fatherland are right. Can't just kill thousands of natives just for a bullshit plot. Are you sure about that? Yes. This game is getting really ridiculous. Why not make it even more so? What? How about we continue with the trial then? Lucky person. You're wasting the court's time. I trust and patient with you has reached zero. Wait, 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 what? We still have five trust points, whatever they're called. No matter, this is a court of law and it's very specific rules. You're unable to respect them by destroy derailing the trial every five minutes. I have no choice. You gotta close the case. Lucky person is found guilty on all accusations and sentenced to life. Are you kidding me? Sentenced to life on our space prison! Wait, what? A space prison? A motherfucking space prison? Wonders of technology. Isn't that insanely costly? It is! But it also means that we don't have to worry about you anymore. Good night, lucky person. Fuck. I can't believe space prison. You wake up confined in a chair that seems to be a space pod. It's a bit bigger than you, but not by much. It's very uncomfortable. The only light source is a lowly flickering fluorescent lamp. Judging from the ramen noodles floating in the air, the pod is in zero-g. You've been stripped of any and all clothes and weapons and said and wear an orange jumpsuit with a barcode for investigation. There's a desk lamp, a bunch of ramen noodles floating in the air, and a monitor in front of you in your chair. Eat ramen. You repeatedly open and close your mouth hoping to catch some stray ramen. The few noodles you've managed to eat taste horrible. You are no longer hungry. The fact won't help with puzzles or anything. I just thought you'd like to know that. Expect desk lamp is a regular desk lamp. Get ye flask. Speak to the lamp. You say a few words for the lamp. It continues floating there. It's a regular desk lamp. It won't answer you. Discuss climate change with lamp. It's a desk lamp. If you didn't answer, you said hi to it. What do you think talking about politics would do the trick? Discuss U.S. presidential election with lamp. Gee, the subject won't change the fact that you're just talking to yourself, making yourself look like some serious mental issues. It's a good thing you're in space and no one acknowledges that. You know what? I just wanted to have a nice civil discussion. Discuss Israeli-Palestinian conflict with Lamp. Sigh. You learn that the Lamp vehemently advocates for a two-state resolution. <laughs> really now? No, not really, you fuck! Lamps can't talk! You know what? Maybe I'm at fault here. Maybe the one you get the option to keep talking to the Lamp, so I can't really blame you for clicking on every single one of them and seeing what happens. Frankly, all this made me really tired. I don't feel like the writing in the actual text adventure anymore. So here you go. Congratulations, you beat the game. Let's call this the Lamp ending or something. And you're so jaded and pissed off that you won the game. Yes! Finally, my skills are useful. Congratulations, feel free to close it now and leave me to my risk. <laughs> Triumphantly accept your ending. A very stupid video game. Reset text adventure. Don't worry, you still have the ending. Alright. Inspect monitor. That's right in front of you. You're tied to your chair and connect directly and interact with it. It looks like it's sort of touch screen. It's currently off. Try to break free. Arms and legs are tied to the chair. You move around sporadically, trying to break free. Also, I really appreciate them saying that, yeah, you get to keep the ending. Because it's always worth a fourth wall break to relieve stress on the player's side. A lot of games, like, just tell me what I'm going to cross a frickin' uh, goddamn um, point of no return. Just just straight up tell me, hey, maybe make a new save. Maybe, you know, do, do the stuff that you want to do before, you know... We take away all of your agency, you know? Just... Games should reduce player stress, not increase it. Anyway, your legs and arms are tied to the chair. You move around sporadically trying to break free. I'm sure while you give up. Chains are tough. However, the monitor in front of you springs to life. Apparently triggered by your movement, the monitor lights up and makes a short startup jingle. After booting up, it displays the following. Prisoner, lucky person, time left in solitary confinement, life sentence. If you believe this is a mistake, shout help and cut support. Help! Shout help. Rotating circle appears in the middle of the screen and runs with the words processing. After a few seconds, a synthesized voice comes out of the monster. I'm s monitor, I'm sorry. If you experience issues, please say help. Say help again. Processing. Sorry, I can't help you. Do you want to serve help offline? Say fuck you. If I had enough of the pot, computer, shit. You angrily say fuck you towards the monitor. Computer processes your speech and replies, I'm sorry, I can't help you with fuck you. Do you want to search for humans who will actually fuck you online? Hell yes. Searching females, zero results found. Searching males, zero results found. I'm sorry, I did not find a person who would want to fuck you. Aw, oh, shit. I just got wrecked by a computer. Welp! That's what I found. Welp is a word, often used in place of well. When a person feels nothing more can be said about something. You express, express helpfulness or dumb dumbness. Example, Welp, we fucked up the space prison. Now the prisoners can release themselves with this. They are secret phrase. Fucking amazing job. Dancing NG. What is the secret phrase? Schadenfreude. Why? Schadenfreude. 
Secret phrase accepted. Change holding your arms and legs released. You are now floating in the space pod. Eat ramen. You float around eating ramen. Well, flying around feels great. The noodles taste horrible. You're no longer hungry. Search for a way out. Feel around the pod, looking for a way out. Manage to find a secret button. Press the button. Hit the button. The monitor turns red. The emergency emergency override flash on screen. The pod accelerates downwards towards the earth as the pace becomes more and more speed. Drag you back to your chair. Strange you force. Thump crashes on the earth, shaking everything in it. Multiple head wounds for the crash, but luckily nothing major. Pod opens, revealing a barren desert land. Okay. It's you. It's you. Oh, hello. I've been waiting for you to show up for about two hours now. Admit it's a lovely view, but it's boring after a while. So now that you're awake and all gillied up, we can end this properly. Motherland and Fatherland said you'd kill me. Cool. Let's have a final battle. Right here, right now. Like in the old days. Come on, it'll be fun. I'll even let you make the first move. Use a mouse to select actions. Aw, oh, hell yes. What are my items? Inventory empty. Rude! Punch for a shotgun? I reckon that needs to be an easy fight. Motherland and Fatherland are dead. But this shouldn't anger you a Saturday. It should make you happy. Those two use you for their own selfish needs. Looking well so far, my friend. You'll die in this mess of a game up. I'll clean this mess of a game up and we can return to my original vision. Well, we're done here. Good night. Shit. Hacks. I guess I was supposed to run. Oh, we're gonna do the fourth wall break ending. God mode activated. Did you miss us? Aw, oh, thanks, Motherland and Fatherland. Time to end this shit. Hell yes. Fucking what? You're back with fucking God mode? I thought I killed those rebel scum. Well, no matter. You wanna play that way? Fine, let's dance, motherfucker. Kick Angie's ass! You give dancing Angie the middle finger. Emotional crit! 26,859 damage. Miss! See, you weren't kidding. <laughs> Emotional crit. Fuck. Dancing Angie is defeated! Rest in pieces, my friend. Well, guess is it then. It's been nice knowing you. Good night and good luck to your future endeavors. Problem's been detected. Windows been shut down to prevent your computer. This is the first time you've seen this air screen. Blah, blah, blah. Hello, lucky person. This is Motherland. I'm glad you tell everything's fine. And she pulled the plug on you, but you're still alive and decided to settle in with the starting town. Taking the opportunity to tell us something that I don't think I've ever done in my life. That being apologizing. Apologizing for using you for our own goals and against your will. Apologize for being flamboyant, rude, and bossing, and generally ruining every sensible plan we had. Apologize to you, lucky person, for taking it to some stupid adventure that took us right back to where we were before. Apologize, this seems overdramatic. I should also apologize for this something a climatic ending. Well, at this point, I shouldn't apologize for apologizing too much. I just wanted this off my chest. This feeling has been haunting me since the moment you were convicted. It's a pretty good chance you won't even receive this transmission. Even if you do receive it, you might not accept my apology. But I just wanted you to know that I feel guilty while this happened. I think this is it, really. I've informed Father Band about this. And frankly, I don't know if I should. The point is, I'm sorry. No sorry, guys. No F bombs. No joking. Goodbye and thanks for everything. Okay. Is that all of the endings? I can't tell if this buzz is something wrong with my PC or just this game being weird. I think it is the game because it briefly stopped. Looks like we got all of the endings, so yeah, that was Ultra ADHD. Play from specific parts. <laughs> Using the power of friendship to kill God. Alright. Developer commentary. How do you want to open this? What? What do you What do you mean? Oh, there's a video you can watch for developer commentary. I'll 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 put a link to the commentary in the description, I guess. Um. But yeah, that was Ultra ADHD, and um, it's free on the itchios, and yeah.